Thank you very much. Um, I would like to thank the Lab School for inviting me here and for that very kind introduction. Uh, and to congratulate everyone else who is receiving this honor tonight for their advocacy uh, on behalf of kids with learning difficulties, or if not advocating, living by example uh, for those like them who share in their struggle with learning difficulties. As many will remember, learning difficulties used to be called a learning disability. Now, I'm anything but a language Nazi, but learning disability is a term that immediately puts new parents on edge and leaves the kid getting the diagnosis feeling like their head is about to get fitted for a wheelchair. As uh, Dean pointed out to me today, it could easily be called simply learning differently. And he went on to say that the diagnosis, when identified and nurtured, is often an advantage in many ways. Traditional schooling frequently tries to keep us in a box and then ludicrously asks us to think outside of it. Where most people try and think outside of the box, many of us are already born there. We just need the right people to let us know where there is there, and that there is the lab school. Now, this is not to say that this is easy. Of all the honors I may have ever hoped to have get, gotten, never in my life could I have envisioned that I would ever receive one with the words outstanding in the title and certainly not the word achiever. As my mother, who is here tonight with me, will attest, achiever was not a word that peppered my report cards. Uh, it was taught, not tossed around very much in parent-teacher conferences. Uh, and it was never bestowed upon me at the usual end-of-year assemblies where ribbons were handed out to exceptional students. Even in today's exceedingly tolerant and nurturing world, uh, they still do not give out ribbons for most fidgety, uh, shortest attention span, the slowest reader, uh, or the great big trophies for Jesus, Justin, can you please sit still for one second so the rest of the class can learn something? Justin, are you listening? I guarantee you, if such awards did exist, my bedroom walls would have been lined with them. And just having heard the long list of schools that I managed to burn through while I was here in Washington, <laughs> all before the ninth grade, I might add, actually, it's not hard to surmise that many did not ask me back to continue my winning streak of outstanding achievement. Also, not even mentioned in the list of schools are the months spent in DC public summer schools or with put-upon tutors, the extracurricular classes that I had to endure just to eventually get kicked out of the schools that I was already failing in. <laughs> to the parents that are here tonight with children in the lab school, I am sure prior to finding lab, you were familiar with the kinds of praise I used to get around report card time, things like if Justin could apply himself, if Justin could focus his energy, or the one I personally like the least, Justin seems bright, but. <laughs> For some reason, calling a child bright and then attaching a but has the ability to make one feel exactly the opposite. But your children are bright. They are focused. They can apply themselves. They are just in the process of finding out how. And by placing them in their lab, you are helping them discover how. By contrast, in the first special reading class I was ever in, way back when at Lafayette Elementary School, they just handed us books with enormous black print screaming back at us. And even though I remember, even then I remembered thinking, it's not the print, you can make that as big as you want. I'm not blind, I just can't read it. <laughs> I did, however, have a leg up in one class, and that class was art. Art was the one discipline that I could excel at and be exactly that disciplined. It was the one thing that, I, that could extinguish the fire on my brain that raged in all my other classes. And where I was restless in other classes, sitting down with a paper and a magic marker, I could spend multiple hours in almost total silence. I was clear, and I was able to achieve whatever I set out to do. I had focus. Now, critical to this was having a parent who not only recognized it, but would also encourage or look adoringly at whatever I produced. And when things weren't going my way at school, she would throw me into the car and take me out to buy some clay or some paints at the art supply store. And eventually, when I became interested in acting, she took me to rehearsals. 
her ability to encourage me unreservedly in those areas of my life, I now know was a gift that gave me the one thing so missing in my early years of growing up with a learning difficulty, confidence. Something that schools, life, and even friends go to a great length to rob you of when you are in the wrong place. I am sure many of you here find yourself in different stages of your own child's development. Some of you may have found the lab school from the start, which is wonderful. Some of you may have just discovered it and maybe now just seeing its rewards. And some of you, having experienced the terrible trials of traditional schooling, may have placed your child in their care and might have reservations, which is understandable. But if I could offer any advice, it would be this. When it comes to your child's learning and the way that they must learn, relax your grip. Turn into the skid and watch as they learn differently. It will be haphazard at times, scary, and sometimes it will make little or no sense. I'm sure my mother's hope was not that I became a professional break dancer, <laughs> but eventually your child will find the thing or things that not only interest them, but that they will excel at. Mine came very late. I have been a painter, I've been a director, a waiter, a construction worker, a billboard painter, an actor, a writer, and even now, I am still learning new things that I want to be. And I identify with all of those things, because I had the right people around me supporting me, even in my indecision. I just needed to learn things my way, and you might be shocked to learn that along the way, I found out it was a lot more of other people's ways, too, many of them dyslexic. And the last one I found, I married, and she's doing pretty great, too. Thank you.